Okay, I'd like to go over real quick in this Joomla tutorial the difference between sections and categories and basically how you use them to organize content. Uh, sections are always above categories, so if you think of it, uh, the section would be the bowl, the category would be the cereal. So in, in my example here at idthebox.com, I have uh, some different, different, ca uh, different sections in here, labels and ribbons. Uh, labeling equipment. Those are these. These were default sections that were just in there through the Joomla installation. But basically, people come to this site. They're going to buy equipment, or they're going to buy label supplies, labels and ribbons. So uh, to start off, I just narrowed it down, or I just started off with these two sections right here. Piece of cake. So now what we do is we go into categories, and we want to categorize different parts of each section. So I have, again, there's a bunch of Joomla stuff in here, but here we have label printer applicators, industrial printers, apply-only labelers, and you come over here, and I have those under the section labeling equipment. Labels and ribbons, that's my thermal printer, printer labels and thermal printer, printer ribbons. So you can see it kind of organizes everything. Now, how does this how does this affect anything? Basically, what we do is if we go to the website here, and we go to equipment, click on that, and when it loads, you come up here, take a look at the URL. I have idthebox.com, and here's my section name, labeling equipment, and then it's taking you to labelingequipment.html. And that's because basically what I did is this is, let's go back in here, go to my menu, and this is my top menu, no, I'm sorry, yes, it is my top menu. Okay, and you see here's my equipment label menu item, and I have it linking to articles section blog. Now what that does is that will take... That will take the articles that I have in those particular sections, labeling equipment, labeling equipment, labeling equipment, and what it does is it puts them in a blog layout on the page, basically one after another. And the nice thing is, is that you can actually Let's go back into the top menu here. If you want, you can actually link it to a section blog layout. Or what you do is is you come down here and you can also link it to a <clears throat> category blog layout or a category list or section list layout. So those are a couple different options. And then now one thing to always consider is that how your URL is displayed is affected a great deal by any kind of SEF components you, you search engine friendly components you have installed. Um, I'm on a GoDaddy server right now and I've been having some problems with SH404 SEF for some reason which is what I usually use but I just installed Smart SEF and so far it's working very well so just remember that your URLs can can drastically change based on your SEF component and that's about all there is for this tutorial if it was helpful useful please rate and rank it uh, otherwise visit geekepic.com and register there if you like and uh, I'll try and keep feeding you guys with uh, more information thanks